Hello and welcome Capricorn to your weekly tarot scope. I'm Katie. I'm a professional intuitive tarot card reader. If you do need a private reading with me, then you can book me at my website, which is katietarot.com. Or you can click the link below. This reading is for the 9th to the 15th of October 2017. Okay, Capricorn, let's get started and see what energies need to come through for you this week. Okay, so it's always better if you have a look at your rising sign and your moon sign as well as your sun sign to get a better understanding of the energies for yourself during the week. Okay, so Capricorn, let's see what's in store for you this week. We have the Emperor. This is Monday, Tuesday energy. And we have the Knight of Swords. So you guys are feeling like you are pretty in charge of things. You know, you're, you're quite empowered with what you're doing. I do see that you're looking much more to the past than um, to the rest of the week, however. So something may have happened over the last week or so that you're still reminiscing about, that you're still contemplating. Some of you may be dealing with an Aries and you're having to communicate with them or you're having to um, win and be on top and be successful over an Aries, okay? You may be in a relationship as well. This could be a relationship spread for you. So this is a general reading. You're going to have to place this energy in your life where it fits. It's not going to be the same for everybody. But the energy Monday, Tuesday is one of being quite in control. I wouldn't say centered though. I would say you have a foundation, you want to move forward, but you're looking more towards the past for whatever reason. Okay. So um, let's have a look at the next couple of days just to get an understanding of what this is all about. So we have the three of swords and the king of um, chalices, which is the king of cups. So I can see that you want to move forward emotionally, but something is keeping you trapped in the past. Okay. And this could be a relationship for some of you. I'm feeling that it might be, and you're feeling like you have, um, the urge to move on from someone or something or a situation that was, uh, denigrating to you, that was no good for you. And you want to leave that behind you and you need to move forward. Um, but this person keeps on coming up in your life. So it's a repeating scenario or the same type of person keeps on coming up and popping up in your life. Um, and they cause you trouble. They cause you strife. They cause you heartache. And you want to get past that and move past those types of energies and people and move on to something better. So move, some, move on to something that is more in line with who you really are and what you really want. You're kind of struggling with that at the moment though, Capricorn. So you have this person or people or situation that keeps on coming back and it keeps on, you know, um, bringing you down energetically. And you don't want that. You are looking to the future. You want emotional stability. Um, but it's very hard for whatever reason because this person keeps on turning up. So communication is always good if you need to um, or if you can, if the possibility is there for you to communicate, then definitely do that. Otherwise, um, if you need to cut this person out, then try and do that. But you will come to the right decision if you listen to your heart, okay? Try not to look so much into the past or so much into the future. Focus on right now because I can see you're very, um, you are torn in terms of not being able to center yourself so much. Um, so you're definitely looking more to the past or more to the future. So the advice here is to focus on this week. And if you need to change things this week or you can, then do it this week, okay? Just little steps, one bit at a time. It doesn't have to come all at once, but if you can start to progress slowly and slowly, then that's okay. Let's have a look at the end of the week for you. Okay, so we have the Five of Pentacles and we have the Queen of Cups. Okay, so I feel for some of you, this is going to be a reunion between you and your partner or you and a, something that you are passionate about, something you are in love with, something you care about a lot. Um, it could be a friend, it could be a relationship partner, a lover, it could be an ex, it could be um, your dream job, it could be something, you know, whatever it is that is 
something you really care about and you want it into your life, okay? So I feel you and that thing coming together, okay, on the weekend, so midweek to the weekend. Um, I feel that there has been some conflict though and um, there may have been a third person involved or if this is a work project, for example, you may have had a third person come in that wasn't a benefit and you needed to out them. Um, there is, there's something going on here with a third party that's no good and you have had some kind of loss associated to this. Also, um, I'm getting the feeling that this um, it is an energetic thing from spirit. They've blocked you in some way um, and I do see that you and this other person or other thing or situation coming together and that will be quite um, satisfactory for you. You'll be quite happy with that. Um, but you have had some problems and you'll have to work through it with clear communication moving forward. Otherwise, more disappointments are likely to come. So if it's something that you can change or do or um, progress towards, then do that. But if you can't, if it's not really on you, then try and just center yourself. And then um, people around you and circumstances around you will just play out as they're meant to. Um, but try not to look so much to the past and what's happened or the future and kind of wondering too much about that. Focus on this week. Focus on this week, okay? Most importantly, focus on this week because there is some pain here. There is some suffering here. There is some disappointment and there is um, potential conflict with a third person coming in. So you may have um, found out that... Um, a third party is involved with something okay so it's you and another person or a thing but a third party wants to come in and take that from you um, so it could be if you are looking to purchase a house or a unit or um, a property something like that then you could want this and you could have put an offering but then a third party is going to come in and try and take it from you or it could be a relationship third party coming in Let's have a look at the advice card for you for this week. Okay, we've got the Ace of Coin, the Ace of Pentacles. There is growth here. There is stability here if you want to pursue it. Okay, if this is the right thing for you to do, you need to center yourself first and then make the right choice. But there is opportunity here for you. So opportunity either to continue to be with this person or situational circumstance or it's going to be moving away from that and the opportunity is there off in another area and you're moving away from this what's happening now what's happened in the past and you're moving towards something completely new um, I do feel for most of you it will be moving towards something completely new rather than staying in the same patterns because I feel that um, it's become taxing on you you don't like it you don't want to be in that scenario anymore so that's how it will play out for most of you. Um, <clears throat> but for others, it could be, you know, you could be working this out and a new idea can come down. You can um, put it into action through planning, proper planning and step-by-step -step action. And then things will improve and increase and grow what you want in the future as well. You just need to be centered enough to... Uh, bring in what you want because there is a bit of loss here like I said there's some heartache going on so you, you need to make this choice and you um, definitely have it within you to make a conscious decision about what, where you want to go and what you want to do and you do have the courage to um, change things if you want to but there is still this emotional connection to this person or thing that is still going to be there at least for a short period of time okay it's not going to this feeling isn't going to disappear within this week or within next week but it will dissipate things will move on there is a new thing coming so it could be a new relationship for some of you that's um, waiting to come through for you or a new um, house going with that analogy or a new property or a new job or um, whatever it is that's coming to you it is there in the future for you just not right now you need to deal with this situation and once this has been dealt with then that energy will be allowed to come into your life so that is a reading for the week guys if you like the content then please subscribe to my channel until next time bye for now